what's up? Welcome back to another episode of Enjoy Your Life, the podcast. I'm your host, Farrah LeRae Wynn. I have a special guest here with me today, Sakari Renee. She is in California, and she specializes in workout plans and fitness, and we're going to get into that a little bit. Um, but first, I kind of want to talk about living a healthy lifestyle. So maintaining a healthy lifestyle is absolutely essential for everyone. But it can be difficult if you're a woman on the go. For me, sometimes it seems easier and more convenient to grab a quick snack from the fast food joint or when I get home, I just want to throw everything off and hop into the bed. But we, it's important to realize that you need to live a healthy lifestyle, whether it's taking a few minutes out of your day to do a few exercises or watching out for what you eat a little more um, than usual, all kinds of things like that. So... Um, we're going to turn it over to Sakari. She's going to give us some advice on maybe some workout plans, meal plans, or um, just tell us a little bit about what you do, who you are, and what inspired you to start this um, personal fitness business. All right. So, hey, ladies and gentlemen, um, this is Sakari Renee. I am from the Bay Area in California. I'm 21 years old, and I am just such an advocate for fitness and healthy um, lifestyle and living. Um, I started around when I was around 19, 18 to 19, and I was just out of high school and, you know, going into college, and it was so easy to um, eat fast food, you know, like was said, and just, you know, munch on anything and everything, your finals and all this homework and part-time jobs, and you just look for fast things to eat. And during that time, I began to feel, you know, not so good about myself. I didn't really like the way I looked, um, the way my health was, you know, different things can occur like acne. And so I was just like, you know, I want to change something about that. And so I decided to go into fitness and I decided to start eating better and exercising and just taking it one step at a time, whether it was walking or jogging or just going on in the gym and lifting a couple of weights, just anything I could do to motivate myself to be better, just a better me. And so I just love to inspire people um, to be able to just do what makes them feel comfortable, really make it a lifestyle. You don't have to go full force, but really just find the things that you like to do that accommodates you to be who you are and be the best you that you can be. And so um, I have lots of different workout plans we'll get into um, that targets different muscles. You pretty much can't target, you know, one muscle, but you can target different things that can help you boost certain areas. And I'm just so excited to be able to talk with you guys and fair. I just to explain and just tell you guys about my story. Awesome. So, um, Sakari actually sent me over, um, a workout plan and I haven't got started yet <laughs> just because I have been super lazy on that, but I know that it's absolutely essential. Like I said, so that's something I'm going to get started on come Monday and really just get back in the game. Um, so this week, Sakari, we were talking about like on my blog, um, we talked about uh, maintaining a healthy mindset. And then yesterday in the video, we talked about maintaining a healthy spirit. So today I wanted to talk about maintaining a healthy lifestyle. So how important do you think it is to, or do you see a connection between um, your health and your spirit man or your mental ability to function? Do you think that has a, an effect on you at all? I definitely do. Um, besides just having, you know, just being healthy and watching what you eat, I really sensed the change in my life. When I began to work out, I had more energy. I was able to stay focused more. Um, energy was a big one for me. I would be very tired at the end of the week. Um, I didn't really feel like praying. I really didn't feel like going to church or Bible study because I was just so tired from everything that I was doing. And when I began to focus in on something that made myself better on the inside, um, spiritually and physically, I began to show that on the outside. So I had more energy. I felt more um, excited about doing different things when it came to prayer. You know, I was, I had, you know, that tenacity that I needed to finish through and, and read my Bible and things like that. And I really started to see when you really eat better, um, I am a witness that it, it shows spiritually. You don't want to be so cluttered with all of the junk and the, and the, um, should say the toxins that you can get from all these different foods yeah. and it talks about in the bible and so we don't want to be cluttered our body our physical body or our soul yeah. with that in the spiritual aspect you want to make sure that you're clean and you're maintaining your temple and so um knowing that just that transition in my life to make better choices i felt better about myself wow 
Yeah, um, I definitely think that I definitely agree because, you know, we know things are first natural, then spiritual. I think exactly, taking yeah. care of yourself physically, first of all, teaches you discipline. So if you are right. able to discipline your physical man and discipline your mind to say, okay, we're going to get up and go work out or we're, we're going to choose the veggies over McDonald's today. I think that once you're able to discipline yourself naturally and mentally, then you can definitely change some of your spiritual habits. Um, I actually, two years ago, I started working out. I hadn't, I, I'm not going to say I never stepped foot into a, a gym, but I never had a membership in a gym until two years ago. And Right. I would do my prayer time at four in the morning and just pray from four to five or like four to four forty five. And then I would get ready and I would head to the gym at five. And literally, I saw the change in myself as well. Like I had more motivation uh -huh. to get up and pray. And then I was excited to go to the gym right after. And I was excited about my day and I felt full. I felt like I can do anything, you know, and lately, again, I haven't been on my game like that, but I need to be. But I, I definitely see the difference in it. So. Um, Sakari, tell us kind of how we can obtain your personalized um, workout plans and different things like that. I have my Instagram. It's called Riri Fitness. And I decided to do one separate from my personal account just because I wanted to not necessarily, I didn't want people to really focus on my everyday life, but just the fitness part because, you know, a lot of mm -hmm. people just want to get straight to, you know, the point. Mm -hmm. And so um, I designed Riri Fitness just so people could see that part of my life. And um, I also have apps that people can connect me with now. I've changed my program around to where um, I'm only doing my app by referral. So if you contact contact me on my Instagram, you know, DM me, message me, you'll be able to get a hold of that app. But on my, on my Instagram, I have my different programs. The two programs I'm promoting right now is a total body fitness for 30 days. And it includes a whole manual of different workouts, so many different ones. It has circuits. It has, you know, a bunch of cardio, a bunch of just strength building. And it really targets everything in your body. It's the total package. And then mm -hmm. along with that, I have another guide. And it's the how to build your glutes. Mm -hmm. And so that's just focusing on legs. I know ladies, as ladies, you know, we love really nice right. legs. And <laughs> nice butt. Right. You know, we just want those things. It just makes us feel more feminine. Mm -hmm. And so... um I'm just so glad that I have so many people purchasing that for the yeah. summer. Um, and so that one is only, they're both only $10 and you can find them on my Instagram. Um, and I'll just send you them. They're PDF books. So, you know, Android, iPhone. Um, and so, yeah, that's what I have. And they're really, really good just because I target, I want to target young people, mm -hmm. young adults that, you know, have the energy. It's very intense programs, but once you get started, you won't want to stop because you'll be so happy with all the progress that oh, you're making. Good. Yes. Yay. And I will say, I looked at it. Um, what you sent me, I was like, oh my gosh. Let me tell you guys, this woman is thorough, okay? You're going to look at these workout plans and be like, wow, she gives you everything is in detail. It tells you what part. It shows the little the little picture of the person doing the workout. Right. Everything is there for you. Like, you don't miss anything. They're, everything is very self-explanatory. It's thorough. It tells you what day or how many weeks or what time you should be doing this in. And it everything is just perfect. Like, I really cannot wait to get started on Monday. I'm very, very excited. And like I yeah. said, I'm going to be tracking my progress, too. I, I love what you said. You said in the email, make sure you take pictures and post it to Instagram because it will keep you accountable I love that yes because that was that was never something that crossed my mind a lot of times people right. are just posting but mm -hmm. you never really think like it keeps you accountable to know okay I have to post an Instagram picture this week or somebody's gonna be checking on you saying like oh hey how's how's your workout right. going or I haven't seen you posting in a while exactly. so I, I loved that you said that in the email that was absolutely amazing Right. I think it's so important. It's so important for people to be held accountable. Um, I think gym buddies, they're fantastic for people that want that. Um, taking progress pictures when I first started my journey for my fitness and, you know, for my glutes, that was a big thing for me because it motivates you. You yeah. see what's going on. You're like, okay, I made it this far. Yeah. Imagine, you know, a week from now where I will be. Yeah. And it just keeps you on that path of seeing your progress because a lot of time people get stumped because they don't see. They mm -hmm. might go to the gym every day and they might lose 10 pounds, but because they're really not tracking it in wow. any type of way, they're just going. They really can't see it. And then they get down and they're, you know, upset because they're like, I still look the same. But it's like, no, you made so much progress. Right. You just have to see it for yourself. Right. Wow. I love that. 
You're amazing. You guys follow um, her. My personal Instagram is Sakari Renee. S A C A R I Renee R E N E E. Awesome. I'm so excited. Thank you for joining me today. Thank you. I had an awesome time. <laughs> yes. Can't wait for all of you guys to look at it. Even if I'm giving this a one-time chance, if anyone DMs me after this, I will give it to you for free. Uh, um, if you listen to this podcast, because I love Farrah and I love uh, what you're doing. And so um, anyone that listens to this, if they want their free book, DM me right after this airs. Aw, thank you. I love you. You hear that? Yeah. It's regularly $10. DM her after you hear this podcast. Let her know that you heard the podcast and get yours today. (laughs) How exciting. Thank you, Sakari. (laughs) Thank you for joining me. No problem. Thank you for having me. Of course. All right. Thank you for tuning in, ladies and gentlemen. We will catch you on the next podcast. I love you and God loves you. God bless. (laughs) 